So um, Omsbot, it sent out this webcam for review. Is it the Tiny 2? Um, they do not see this video before it goes live. And any thoughts and opinions of my own? Now, I did request, if I remember correctly, one of their older models, and I didn't even know this model was out, but they sent out the newer one, and they wanted me to talk to you guys about this and give my thoughts and opinions and use case scenario because I am a hip hop dancer. Sometimes I do dance on stream. Uh, my old setup was a GoPro Hero 5 with a wide field of view uh, selecting on it. And uh, it was on a camera slider, which would slide back and forth, giving that panning motion. Um, and it's the same thing that sometimes I use for B-roll here on the channel. Um, and it was getting cumbersome taking it down and putting it back up to when I wanted to film and everything. Plus there's some complications with it that I might have to end up getting a new one. But I was wondering, instead of having my slider up there or wherever and have to do that, could I use uh, a webcam like the Omnibot um, Tiny 2 to be able to, you know, do my dancing sections and stuff like that. And I came to the conclusion after using this for about a week, my thoughts and opinions on it. And I wanted to kind of share them with you uh, from a perspective, again, of somebody using a camera or a webcam like this um, instead of doing what everybody's doing as far as reading off a spec sheet or wherever in comparison and stuff like that, going over to app features, all that stuff. Because when it came to the Insta360 link, which is kind of the competitor to this and webcams like this in general, like the OnSpot Tiny 2, that's what everybody's doing. Hardly anybody's really talking about their experience with using the webcam. They just say what you can use it for, like meetings, uh, Zoom meetings, whiteboards, uh, Discord calls, like all this stuff or whatever, which is good. But how does a content creator use this webcam? What are the use case scenarios that a content creator can use this? How can somebody use this to spice up their content creation or their live streams? That's the kind of questions you as a content creator who is thinking about buying this should be approaching a product like this because it ain't cheap now don't get me wrong i on this channel i do cover a lot of budget items even when it comes to cameras they're a little bit more expensive but when you look at budget items when it comes to cameras like the actual cameras itself like the sony zv1 or the sony zv e10 they're around 500 600 but the grand scheme of things uh, those are pretty much budget or bottom of the barrel cameras. Now, when we're talking about webcams, you can get something like the Elgato face cam, the 1080 60p uh, frame webcam that is roughly around 80 to 90 dollars refurbished and you can find it for 120. Now, it only goes up to 1080p 60 frames per second, but you can get the camera to look decently. And Elgato recently came out with their 4K uh, webcam that costs around this price, if not a little bit more, but you don't have the functionality of this which is a little bit cheaper. But again, this is still a little bit more expensive than 360 Link. But based on a video that I will link down in the description, um, this person came to the conclusion that I, the same conclusion that I did, that that this webcam, in comparison to any other webcam out there, at least on the market as of the time of recording, this is the best version of a webcam, period. Um, even if you don't wanna say that you won't use all the features or whatever, this is still the best 4K, webcam out there. Yes, it's not 4K 60, but you're losing that extra 30 frames per second for doing a whole bunch of stuff that the Elgato face cam 4K 60 won't be able to do. The software, I have the Elgato face cam 1080 60. Uh, I've been using the camera hub software. It's completely trash in comparison to the software that comes with the Onsbot. Again, not trying to bash Elgato, but it's just the frustrations and just having this for a week that this software in my personal opinion and again everybody the case may vary but i've noticed that the software with it is just miles ahead as far as intuitiveness ease of use and just not crashing not freezing my computer not having any issues like i said it's just been a joy to use now with that being said we are going to go ahead and switch over to the actual webcam itself so you can see so this is the onsbot tiny 2 um, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. I've been using it uh, since that previous version in the video. It's been about two days. So I've been using it for, um, I would say, almost two weeks now, probably coming up on two weeks, actually. Um, but what I've noticed with it, and I'll probably have to include it in a shot, is that I had to put it on a taller pole attached to my desk in order to get the field of view that I wanted when it came to me using my GoPro previously. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm totally in love with this angle. And cause like I said, I am a hip hop dancer. So when I'm dancing around and gliding and stuff and doing my streams, I want my feet to be in the shot. I like the way it tracks. I think it's smooth. I think everything works really good. 
but again that field of view so my first gripe or my first um thing that i would be interested in seeing if onsbot can do is open up that field of view even wider and um and include it into that gripe so i'm not going to move it into like another gripe or anything because it's kind of included as well if if i can zoom in and you could tell the top of my head and the top of the frame is so far so that gap right there should not be there and i wish that i could put my head towards the top of the frame or even closer um, to actually allow this space right here to be at the bottom for my feet to catch my whole body if you catch my drift um, that is kind of the problem. Another thing is, is like this thing is almost touching my ceiling. Um, so it's losing my gesture sometimes and it's losing me sometimes if I get too close to my PC and it's zoomed in or something like that. Um, just because it's not the thing of the actual um, Tiny 2, it's just the position I had to put it in. It's not really meant for uh, what I'm trying to do and being that far away, etc. So it's going to you know cause problems and issues that um you know that's initialized by me but that's just kind of a problem that i've ran into because again i wanted to see if this could you know be my dance cam being able to zoom in and, and talk to chat and stuff like this is really cool and then when i'm ready to you know dance i can just zoom out i'm you know this far away and the angle wherever it's just not as as good as the angles and stuff i was getting with the gopro and mind you that gopro is just an older version there's a uh, gopro hero uh, 12 right now that just released and i could get for around this price i can get me a mounting um kit or whatever with a gopro hero i think 10 or 11 for around the price of this with all the accessories and stuff to be able to pull off this kind of shot nowadays for around the same price like 260 dollars um, and I could accomplish the same thing I was doing with my other hero one. It just the newer ones are better at low light and I could accomplish the look that I'm looking for, um, except for the following and the tracking. And like I said, that's what I was looking for. And the only other options that you can really do as far as live uh, tracking and everything is actually getting one of the newer Sony cameras um, that have the AI tracking in it. But the best one or wherever that would be cheapest is the Sony Alpha 6700. And that thing is like almost $1,200, if not $1,200, um, even though it's not a full frame. So this is the closest I could get to something that I'm looking for. I know there's ones to where you could hook up possibly a GoPro or hook up a phone or wherever, little stands that have a camera extra that would track you and everything. Um, but those, as far as reviews and looking for something that's actually going to be sturdy enough to do that um, and then on top of that maybe i want to be able to do that with my actual cameras or wherever having a mount to, to be able to handle that weight um, it's just none of them seem like they were that reliable so i've just been completely avoiding um, getting any of those types of things or wherever regardless on how expensive it is um, so Again, that's just my first gripe and complaint, I guess, about the Tiny 2 is, again, that headspace, even now, you can see how large it is. And I don't know why I'm kept so low in the frame. It's it's really, really weird. And like I said, I will show vid uh, a video of it, but how far I got to put this thing up and angle it or wherever to be able to even get remotely like my feet. I would never have to do this with the with the GoPro. Um, just because of the field of view and this is at its widest angle so again that's just a slight nitpick of because i'm doing something like i said totally different most people wouldn't be dancing most people this field of view um, and bringing the camera down and whatever would be perfect if you're already having it above your monitor um, maybe you have a horizontal uh, i guess uh like your monitor monitors horizontally laid out and this was above it or wherever this would be fine because you can have a sit stand desk you can stand up you know stretch do some exercises like on the floor or something like that this thing is going to track you or wherever and it's going to add to your streams and to your overall videos uh that you're doing or wherever on your live streams or your you know youtube channel or whatever um or maybe even your discord calls zoom meetings whatever it may be um this is going to be the perfect webcam for you and like I stated previously, going forward, I think this is going to set the bar for how webcams are going to need to be. And you're going to start seeing these webcams and everybody set up, uh, irregardless of profession. 
I, I really do think so. Um, you're no longer going to see the C920s, the Logit Logitech webcams, or Elgato face cams, anything like that. You're going to start seeing the Onsbot uh, Tiny 2 or any other iteration of um, the Tiny's or Onsbot's uh, cameras, period, because software is very fluid, very intuitive, uh, very easily um, easy to use. Never had an issue with it as I've had with other products in the past when it comes to them um, having software accompanying their products, which is saying a lot if you if you know about companies and software. Um, so my second gripe is going to be not being able to turn off the gestures so if i'm dancing and i'm doing uh, digits or what's known as like tutting and stuff like that and i do a hand gesture and it picks it up because like in the middle of a song like i did a freeze or something like that as you can see it's no longer tracking me and that might be a problem now i know again this this is very unique to my scenario because I am a dancer and I'm gonna be dancing on stream and not everybody's gonna be doing that, let alone using something like that, like this for that. Um, but that's just something I've learned and from using it and doing that on stream and everything that this is a potential issue. So again, I just wanna state it wherever that is there. There's no way in the software to turn off gestures after the camera is already tracking you. And then if you wanted to enable gestures again to, you know, clicks a button or wherever in the software. Now, this might be something they might be able to implement um, for an update or something like that uh, to the software in a firmware update or wherever, push it out and everything. Um, and that would be really cool, at least for me to be able to have it tracking me, not worrying about like stop tracking me or something like that because I did a gesture while I was dancing because I'm not going to be looking at my stream, my stream or my video preview or wherever when I'm dancing, obviously. I'm, I'm going to be looking around, you know, and just focusing on doing whatever. Again, having the feature to uh, turn off gestures um, and then toggle it back on in the software would uh, make this uh, even better, at least in my personal opinion. Um, like I said, most people won't run into that issue. Um, some people might, depending on the type of work that they're doing with, while using this webcam. But again, unless you're dancing or you're doing maybe some type of exercise or something like that, it might misinterpret your um, gesture. Now, you can control it from uh, with voice commands as well. So it might not be an issue for people, maybe have it turn off gestures, but leave the voice command on and just having those uh, options to individually turn them on and off or wherever, regardless, I think would be really, really uh, good as far as a update uh, in their software where we're pushing that through a firmware update. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about, and I mentioned it before when it came uh, to using this uh, webcam. And I think I mentioned it in the previous video because I don't know what I recorded before. I don't remember. Um, but this thing costs a lot of money. And um, in this uh, package or wherever, you do get a nice traveling case and you put all the accessories and everything that came with it in here. And it does feel like a hard enough case that's gonna protect the camera if you throw it in your, in your you know, backpack, camera bag, whatever, and you're traveling around, that's fine. Um, but at this price point, this camera needs to include the remote. Um, they say a new era of webcam. That's exactly what this is as far as the, the Tiny 2 and from Onsbot. But at this price point, having to buy a separate item to c control this thing uh, remotely with the remote for $50, that's, in my opinion, ridiculous. I don't know why it's not included it kind of almost is a deal breaker for me to tell people to get this knowing that they have to pay an extra fifty dollars um but again just just include it in the bundle i don't have to worry about like trying to do a gesture and worrying about did i turn it off did i turn it on because the light indicator is good enough it will tell you and everything but like i said while i'm dancing and if i'm back here or wherever and the camera is now focused over here or locked over here or zoomed in and i now i move over here like what am I gonna do when I turn back around and I did a whole dancing segment for like four minutes, five minutes, and then I come back to my video footage and my camera has been stuck over there for God knows how long. You know what I mean? So again, having the remote in the box with those firmware updates to the software would be a godsend. And I think that that's how it should be set up. Just from the video quality standpoint, um, it's a clear winner. You can see that they're making iterations, leaps and bounds. They're pushing 
the boundaries of what a webcam means like further than anybody else. Because again, one of the benefits is that a lot of people use uh, in editing software, they will use motion tracking where it tracks your face and then they would do that and let that render. If you ever had to sit there and wait for a motion tracking to render this, like if I wanted to render this whole entire part of this video and have the camera track me like it's doing now, you know how long that would take for a, even with a decent beast PC, it would take to render that whole entire timeline and then add whatever you wanted to do on top of it. And then on top of that, render the whole entire video to get something similar to this. I mean, you can't beat it. Honestly, you can't beat it. So what I'm going to tell you is that there's going to be links to the Amazon page and the OnSpot website down in the description. None of these are going to be affiliate links. Um, like I said, all OnSpot did was send this camera out for review and that's what I'm doing. So I don't want no kickback from this. I'm just going to tell you guys to go out and get this webcam. This is going to be the one I recommend 100%. And I would probably just recommend this company's webcams, period. And in comparison, the only other webcam out there that I used to recommend was this. And even this, I had to bump the ISO a little bit and the shutter speed. And even though it, the lights are set to 5600 Kelvin, just like it is in the camera, this is, this is what you get. 100% recommend this webcam. Again, links in the description, you can check it out. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid test day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to uh, stop it from tracking me. Yeah, now I can go do what I was doing.